hello my loves welcome back to my channel so in today's video guys as you can tell from the title i'm going to be sharing some halloween embellishments with you um i was playing with the kr kr ks craft die it is the cauldron die i think this is available on amazon as well i can't remember whether i got it on amazon or ally but i think that it's available on both guys um so it comes with all these pieces let me grab the other pieces i only use these three right here these are the three that i like hey tara share this life for me please so it comes with these pieces hi Luz. so it comes with these bubbles here that go on the top of the cauldron it comes with this part that you can make a shaker and then it comes with the back piece, the shape of the cauldron. Hi, Ines. Guys, share this video for me, please. It comes with these little pieces that you can piece on there. Amaya, you better get your butt to class, girl. Get off of my live and get to class. I love you. Have a good day. Be good, baby. Hi, Tiffany. It comes with this piece that you can make, like, you know, seam or whatever. These little pieces. <laughs> and then this piece. Oh, I forgot it came with this where you can kind of, like, layer it. So you can do a lot of things with this. And this piece has the stitching. So it's really, really cute. Hey, Veronica. My daughter trying to sneak on my life. Girl, get off this life. Get to class. Hi, DV. What's going on, girl? So it comes with all these pieces. But the three main pieces that I am using are these pieces here, okay? So I was playing around with this die. And... um. I wanted to play with Natalie's new glitters in her shop. So if you guys don't know, her shop is prettymixstudio.com. And so she sent me all these glitters that we're going to play with today. So we have this pink one that's called Owl Eyes. I can't wait to try this one right here. The cat fur. Black cat fur is what it's called. This one's going to look... I can't wait to try this one out. It's going to look really cool. I know, girl. She's trying to be on my live. She's supposed to be in school. Raven's tongue. This one is, I think, a black glitter, like a black um glitter with like holographic. Hey Brandy, how you been, girl? And then also we're gonna be playing with this glitter here that she has. So all these glitters are on her shop, guys. Okay. This one is called Pink Snow. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on here. Hi, Edith. Amaya is bad. Is that your friend, Amaya? And then you guys get to class, both of y'all. And this one's called Angel Wings. So it's like a white glitter, okay? So we're going to be playing with all these glitters. Hi, Lizzie. What's going on, Mama? How are you? So let me show you guys what these pieces look like. So I wanted to play with my pink vellum. And so I know a lot of us don't sew. You do not have to sew for this project. You can use your glue as well. But um, I stitched on this vellum. This is the pink vellum. I cut it out. And I added my 31 mix in here. It looks so pretty, guys. It's so, so pretty. Hi, Connie. So let me show you guys what it looks like. And all I did was I sewed around three of the edges. I left a piece open, stuffed it with my, um, my mix, and then I sealed it. Hi, Eve. Did you get abducted by aliens? <laughs> Mm, that was crazy. So let me show you guys what it looks like all together. I thought it came out so cute. And this is just like the beginning stage. You can add so much to this. I wanted to embellish it even more than this. But this is what how it came out. I love how that little skull peeks through. It's my favorite. And so I used um, some of Natalie's glitter mixes on the top part. So this one is, I believe, this white one, which is Angel Wings. So we'll make a couple of these on here. And I'm also going to be using the inner piece because I don't like to waste shit. I don't know about you guys, but I do not like wasting nothing. Like, this is the part that punches out of the middle. Like, I need to use that too. So these are those pieces that punched out. And then this is the top, the little bubbles. Thank you. So let's go ahead and make one. So I already stitched this one. I got my little sequin mix. Doesn't the pink vellum look so pretty on this? So we're just going to glue this to this. I didn't have my wet glue ready for this, as always. Let me grab my glue. What do you guys got going on? B bougie cauldron? <laughs> she bougie. And then this is the pink one that I played with. 
it's a darker pink one. So I thought it would be fun to play with these glitters on the top part. So you guys can get, uh, we can see how these glitters look in action. Let me poke a hole in my top of my glue. You know I'm never prepared. What kind of gold thread do you use? Mine's has been snapping too, girl, when I have it on like a really high tension. But I, other than that, it doesn't really, I, I love it. It is from Joann's. I'll have to message you on Instagram and send you a picture because I don't remember what the brand is, but I know that the regular price is $18. So it's like one of those high ones. I always get it when it's on sale or I, if I could use a uh, coupon. Hi, Jenny. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue and I'm just using wet glue on the edge of this cauldron. How many of you guys grabbed this tie? I think it's so cute. I don't love like a lot of the pieces, but as far as the cauldron's concerned, it's so cute. All right. So some people like to snip off these. I kind of leave them on. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them on. I like that look. As long as it don't pop. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put my use my wet glue. And I'm gonna glue it right on top. So if you don't sew, just use glue. Glue it around three edges. Use your hot glue. Because this is gonna cover up the edge anyways. So this is what it looks like. Hey Lana. Look at how pretty, guys. I love the way the skulls peek through in here. See the little pumpkin. So you can really see your mix. And that's what I love about this. I probably shouldn't have had that one sticking there. That's okay. So there goes our cauldron. You could always use the inside piece and put two together to make a mini purse. Oh, that's a great idea, girl. Supervisor Debbie. <laughs> so there's that piece. And then I just cut this out of the paper. But I'm going to be gluing glitter on top of it, okay? So I'm going to use my hot glue for this part. And I'm only putting glue on the bottom. Hi, Clarissa. And I'm just going to glue it right there. So really, you could stop there. But why, why stop there when you can add glitter? You know, glitter makes everything better. This cauldron is so cute, guys. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I want to try out this. Well, I'm going to try the black one on another color. Which color should we use, guys? The pink or the angel wings? You guys decide. I'm going to use these other colors on one that doesn't have the black glitter. That's true glitter is everything. Pink? Okay, we'll do the pink. All right. I'm trying to think, should I use wet glue or not? We'll use wet glue. So I love these because they have this wide top. Yeah, this one's called Pink Snow, guys. It's so beautiful. Look at the glitters in here. So it's a mixture of fine glitter, chunky glitter, and there's like little stars in here. The glitter is so bomb, guys. So let's move this dye out the way because we don't need it. Ooh, this glue is from my friend Inez. She gets it from Mexico. And it's basically silicone glue. So it's like hot glue, but not hot. I really like it. It does have a smell to it. But I really like it. All right. This part ripped a little bit, but whatever. So you're just going to dump it in there. You should do a little by little. Let me get a spoon. So if you're using hot glue, it dries faster. This is a spoon that Angel made for me. You already know glitter's the devil, so... You're going to have glitter everywhere after playing with it. Oh my God, so pretty. Make sure you guys shake your glitter before you use it. 
so you can get it all mixed. I always forget that. Look at how beautiful. Okay. I'm missing someone here. Look at that glitter, guys. It's amazing. Like, what? So pretty. Hey, baby. Hi, Mimi. So, guys, this is a new release in Pretty Mix Studios shop. These glitters that we're going to be playing with, okay? I want to try out each one of them on these cauldrons. Look at that bling, guys. You guys can put this glitter on your rosettes. So, here is the pink. It's called Pink Snow. This one is the white one. The white one is called angel wings and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try out the special halloween ones i'm gonna try not to make this live too long because my phone's dying and my charger cord is too damn short because you guys know my kids love to steal my um chargers so let's set this to dry and let's play with the inner parts of these so this one, let me use this paper, specialty paper. Isn't that so cute? I love this collection so much. And I'm just going to use this piece here. This is the inner part, but it don't matter. I'm going to put that right on top of there. Because y'all know I don't like to waste nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I want to try that black glitter. The fur one. Oh, by the way, guys, Pretty Mix Studio is having a sale. Most of the stuff on her site is $2.99. So all her charms, all of almost everything except for the glitters and the kit. She has a new kit as well, guys. So all that stuff is $2.99 right now. You better run and grab it. And you can use my coupon, which is Poochie10, to get another 10% off. Let me try to get this little. All right. So there is the cauldron, and I'm using the extra pieces. All right, now let's do the black glitter. I got to find something to put it on top of. Let's use my scraps. We'll use the scraps. It's not fun if you don't make a mess. So let me grab my glue. Hi, Emily. How are you? So guys, if you're just joining, I'm just making some cauldron embellishments. And we're playing with the new glitters from Pretty Mix Studio. If you guys grab the glitters, let me know. I want to see what you guys come up with and how you can be creative in using your glitters. So I put wet glue all over this. And we're going to use the black cat fur. Oh my god, it's going to be a mess. Oh my God. This is what it looks like. Let me see if you guys can see it. Let's see. Ah! I'm going to make such a mess. I know I'm giving loose anxiety right now. I give her anxiety every time I play with glitter. Okay, I gotta pour this on here. Don't be scared to pour that shit on there, okay? Hi, Veronica, did I say hi? And this is the black fur one. What is it called? Black cat fur is what it's called. You can kind of see how the glitter is. You see on the bottom, those little like hair specks. It's so cool, guys. So cool. Let me get these little pieces that I'm missing. I feel like the hot glue will work better on this. This glitter is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. It definitely screams Halloween. Oh, 
I want to really pile it on there. There we go. Look at that. Hi, Rocky. It's so cool, guys. Can you guys see those specs? So bomb. So that is the black cat fur. So I'm going to set this right here. I'm going to try to scoop this back in here. Oh, my God. I'm making such a mess. I'm going to have this stuff on my tits, on my ass. This clip is going to be every damn wear. Hold on, guys. So what would you guys use these glitters on? What are some, like, creative ideas that you guys have? I love them on my cupcake liners on the edges. But I always do that. Oh, my God. This glitter. I need that little vacuum. Okay. Let's try the other ones. Hi, Leslie. That would be so cool on a spider. Oh, that would be cool. This glitter is so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. I was like, what the hell? All right, there's that one. Let's try another. So we got our little top piece. We can do the pink one on this one. And I can use the black bottom. Let's glue this on top. Hi, Maritza. Welcome. Happy Monday to everyone. Are you guys ready for a new week? I wasn't ready. Monday, Monday just comes by and smacks you in the face. All right. So there goes our top. I'm using the inner part of this cauldron. Because I don't like to waste stuff. This is the perfect time for me. What time is it over there, Leslie? All right, so there goes that piece. Let's go ahead and add our wet glue. And we're going to do the pink glitter, that bright pink. Hi, Leslie. We got two Leslies in the house. So I'm just adding my wet glue. You guys can use hot glue. And then we're gonna add our pink glue. Let me move these because they're wet. I'll show them again in a minute. I woke up straight up confused about it being Monday. The only way I knew was because Ricky was gone. Hi, Venus. I know, girl. When, Friday, I mean, the weekend goes by so quick. Last week felt so long, but it went by really quickly, if that makes sense. So make sure you guys shake up your glitter. Let me shake this up. All right, guys, so we're playing with um, the glitters from Pretty Mix Studio, the new release. These are $7.99 in her shop. Everything else on her site is on sale, and she just released a new kit yesterday, okay? Yes, the sequin mix will look so cute. So I'm going to really pile on this glitter. I feel like with the hot glue, it catches it more. Hey, Cheryls. Good morning. Look at how pretty this pink one is. So, guys, you can use my code Pucci10 to get 10% off your purchase with prettymixstudio.com, okay? Look at the pink. It's so pretty. You guys see the little stars? There's um, confetti glitters, fine glitter, really pretty mix. And then you can embellish this cauldron. Oh, so pretty. I love glitter. All right, let me try to put this in without making a mess. So that is the owl's eye, okay? You can buy these individually. Hey, Crownbird, what's your name again, girl? I forgot your name. Hi, Maria. Where you been at, Maria? My night owls have been M-I-A. Okay. 
I need that little vacuum. Anybody want to buy me that little vacuum for my birthday? Today's my birthday. <gasps> no, he did not, girl. Happy birthday, Leslie. All my night, I'll throw a little dancing emoji for Leslie's birthday. Leslie J's birthday. Now you have to not give him anything for a while. All right, now we're going to do the other black one. I'm going to use this combo. This cat is so cute from this 31 collection. BB. You got the glitters? <laughs> Aren't they pretty, girl? They're so pretty. Natalie puts a lot of work into these. This thing in her packaging and the labels are the bomb on this glitter. I was like, what? They're the perfect bottles. I think it's like a perfect release for um, Halloween. I'm going to let that dry for a second. And we're going to use the Raven's Tongue. Black gumball machine instead of orange. Oh, girl, they're going to love that. No one can find the black gumball machine. Hey, Natalie, speaking of the devil. So, guys, everyone who's in my um, my swap, we have some great sponsors. Urban Gems is giving away two $20 gift cards, gift certificates to her shop. Leslie, who is Leslie, Leslie Crafts right here in the chat, she's going to be doing a Halloween kit. Her kits are always the bomb. I can't wait to see her Halloween one. Um, BB is going to be giving away a black target gumball machine along with some other goodies guys maria scrapbook nuts is going to be giving away some handmade things i'm going to be posting them on my instagram little by little as soon as i get the pictures and stuff like that um little paper crafter who is alicia the stampin up representative she's going to be giving away a christmas full christmas collection from stampin up the new release hi zulma what else paulina's going to be giving away from her shop giving away some stuff from her shop, her crafty shop. And I can't think of who else, but I know there's a couple more people who are sponsoring. So even if you guys are not part of my swap, please follow all of my sponsors. Show them some love, guys, because they're just doing it out of the kindness of their heart. Okay, so this one is called Raven Tongue. He called and told me, I'm so sorry. He's making a, it's, tell him it's okay. I give you dinner and give you some crafty money and you'll think about forgiving him. For next Sleepy Hollow, New York and Salem, Massachusetts for two weeks. I told him not in September, in October. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. My daughter surprised me and bought me 15 black gumball machines. What? Girl, I'm PayPal ready to get one of those. Let me know if you're selling any. Okay, so this is Raven's Tongue. This one's pretty. It's like a holographic black. Really gorgeous. I can't wait. A lot of the girls are almost done with their swaps. And I cannot wait for everyone to share. Everybody's been making some amazing things. Hi, Alvina. Look, uh, Veronica's ready to win that gumball machine. We all are. Okay, so let me put some more here. Yes, it's a, it's a Target thing, girl. They got it in black now. It's so badass. So here goes Raven's Tongue, guys. How pretty is that? Oh, so gorgeous. He lives in another part of the state. He's a superintendent for the huge construction company. That's awesome, girl. I hope that you enjoy your birthday and that you get spoiled rotten. Okay, let me put this back in here. So are you guys still working on Halloween? Did you guys, are you guys done with Halloween? There's so many Halloween collections I still want to play with and have to play with. But I'm stuck on 31. Yes, girl. They've been out for a while. I feel like targets are being slow in getting them. I don't know what's going on. All right. So let me show you guys these glitters. This is the Raven's Tongue that we just did. Okay. These are her Halloween glitters. 
Pokemon cookies, girl. That sounds so cute. There's the raven's tongue. If you guys are not sure on what glitter, I say grab them all. Because once her stuff is sold out, it's gone. Okay. And then this is the black fur. What is it called again? Black cat fur. This is the one that has those little specks. It looks so cool, guys. Emily, I need to join you, join you in on that girl. For real. Because I want to be prepared for Halloween next year. I want to have all kind of Halloween stuff. This one is so cool. Okay. And then we have the pink one. What did I do with it? How did I lose it that quick? Right here in my face. Of course. The pink one from the Halloween set. Which is Owl Eyes. It's so pretty, guys. It's a nice pop of color for the 31 collection. I love it. So you guys can embellish these however you want. I have like some little cut aparts here. You know, you can do whatever. You can use your puffy stickers, your ephemera. You can stick this onto another project. There goes the pink one from the Halloween set. And then these right here. Let me show you guys these. We have this one here, which is pink snow. So pretty, guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. These are fire. These are fire. Okay. And then let me show you guys the white one, which is angel wings. You know what? This is the pink one. This is the pink snow, and this is the other one, angel wings. You can kind of see the difference. One is pink. So pretty, guys, okay? Make sure if you guys grab these, you use my code Pucci 10 Guys, try to use vellum on these. Look at how pretty the shakers look on these. So bomb. Especially if you have, like, little shapes in there. It's going to show up so beautifully. Here's, look at this one with the little skull. I love that little skull poking through. Yes, girl, it looks just like flocking. Yeah, I told them, Natalie, you got your stuff for $2.99. So, so cute, guys. And like I said, you guys can embellish these how you like. Um, my idea for these, um, this is a Mintopia die. It's a banner die. It um, comes like this. And you just fold it on the edges. And it becomes 3D. It pops up. Just like that. So my idea for this was to glue it here. Embellish it with like a sentiment and something. And I want to hang a chain from here. But I can't find my chain. I'm going to try to do it right now. Let me see. Maybe I can use my regular chain. I have some like color chain, like pink from Pretty Mix Studio that I wanted to use. But right now I'm in the process of like changing my room. And it's just a lot of shit going on. So my stuff is like a little bit of everywhere. And I cannot find what I need as usual. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do some pink on one of these. Before my phone dies. Let me get my eyelets. My pastel ones. Thank you guys. Yes, it'll be cute for a tag. All right, let's see. So I have these pastel eyelets. Let me get one of these tags that I've already sewn on. Do I have a white one sewn on? Yeah. I think I like the white one on that one. Let's move some of these out the way. I got too much going on right here. But what do you guys think of these glitters? Are they beautiful or what? What, what is your favorite color? Do you guys have a favorite? Are you loving them all? Talk to me. Talk to me. All right. I just got shit everywhere as usual. Ava fell asleep early today. She didn't give me no shit. <laughs> So I'm like, let me hop on live before she wakes up. So here's my banner. And this Mentopia die, it comes in three different banner sizes. Whenever you guys see Mentopia dies, you grab them without any question. No hesitation. The words are die. These are KS, KS Craft. 
They're so cute. They come with the layering piece. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole on here. I'm going to try to center as much as I can. The pink one the best? Which one? The the dark pink, the darker pink or the the lighter pink? Which one, Tiffany? And then let's set our eyelets. I want to use, we'll use some pink stars. Why not? Let me grab, I got these from Etsy. I'm so pissed with Etsy, guys. I saw a few weeks ago on the Cricut, they have it. You can make the word and the outline. What? I'm thinking, I'm really contemplating grabbing the Cricut. My silhouette gives me so much shit, but I don't know if it's just me or if it's just giving me shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at how pretty that eyelid is on there. Let me get my eyelid setter. There we go. So pretty. The one in the top bottle, the darker one, yes, it's beautiful, girl. Very beautiful mix. All right, let's set this one. My craft supplies are taking over my room. Like They're like, bitch, get out of here. They don't want me in here no more. They just want to take over. If you ever set your eyelid and you feel like it's not straight, just put your setter back on it and twist it a little bit and it'll turn. Well, I haven't did an update on my phone because I'm I'm having like, I don't know, I don't trust Apple. And um, I don't know, these updates, sometimes you're kind of giving permission to some things that you're not, you don't know about unless you like fully, fully read everything, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I'm just hesitant about the updates on my phone. Um... And Etsy, now, it won't let me look on Etsy unless I do an update. So that's what I'm going through with Etsy right now. Do I want to put on that one or this one? I don't want to cover up the skull. The skull is so cute. Look at the skull. It's so cute. My silhouette has been acting up also. We are not speaking right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with, like, Apple used to be really good about protecting um, their customers' information. And now they say, fuck that. I'm going to put on this one. Because I just can't stand to cover that skull. I'm crazy. So let me grab some foam tape, and I'm going to set it right there. Oh, God, I got to search for foam tape. All right. So, I don't know, guys. I have trust issues. I don't... Even, like, Facebook. Now, their marketplace, you have to, like, link your credit card information. And, like, Facebook was sued not too long ago for stealing people's identities and shit and selling their information. So, I don't know. I just, I'm just really hesitant. Even, like, because, you know, Instagram is owned by Facebook. So, even on Instagram, like, if someone sends you their PayPal... I don't like clicking on that link because it'll it'll tell you sign in again. Like, I'm already signed in. You know what I mean? So that's just Instagram trying to grab that information. I made that sequin mix. Veronica, I made it, girl. But you guys can get um, sequin mixes from Pretty Mix Studio. She better have one on there now. I made this mix right here, girl. I just took some pinks, some golds. I put some stripes. There's some alley ones in here. I added these little ghosties from Target a couple years ago. This little, I, I'm obsessed with this little skull. Where is it at? It's like a holographic white skull. That's from Etsy. These black stars are from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Hi, Sam. And then um, Tara sent me these little ghosties. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? 
Where are you at, my little ghosty homies? Here go the little clay pieces. And then there's some um uh pretty mix studios pink glitter. So just a lot of different sequins, girl. Like these little stars are from Pretty Mix Studio. She has those on her site right now, guys. I can't get it because there's too much shit in here. But you guys can probably see like the little specks, the little hollow ones, the little stars are from her. These little glitter ones. Yeah, ghost, those are my ghost homies. All right. So there goes that sequin mix. I love making sequin mixes. Before I play with a collection, I have to make a sequin mix for it because nine times out of ten, I'm going to shake or something. Where's Angel? Angel's here. Hi, Angel. What's going on, girl? So I'm going to pop these up on foam. I need to find my chain because I want to use that plastic chain. I'm going to place it about there. Put hot glue. Because we don't trust Dollar Tra. Because the prices are too cheap. We don't trust that adhesive. There's stuff everywhere. Okay, and then we're going to add chain. So I'm going to use this gold chain. Since I can't find my other chain right now. And I'm going to kind of measure. Mm, I think right there is good. So all you got to do to take this apart is just use your, your two tools. And bend it apart like this. Just twist it the opposite directions. And you can take the link out. And I'm going to attach this with. Okay, I'm going to attach it with a jump ring. Let me grab a jump ring. I should have grabbed that first. I thought that was just me. Hot glue with the foam tape from Dollar Tree. Oh, girl, I definitely don't trust the hot glue from Dollar Tree. On paper, yes. On anything else, hell no. Where's my dies falling? Let me grab some jump rings. Damn, I'm running low on jump rings. That means your girl been working. All right, there goes two jump rings. Girl, I just came from, I feel like I'm grocery shopping every other day. It's ridiculous. My husband's like, why are you at Walmart again? I'm like, uh, we need some meat to cook. I didn't buy that much meat last time I went. So add your jump ring. So probably have to use a bigger one, depending on where you put your hole. Ooh, yeah, I need a bigger one. Okay, let's use these pink ones. So these pink jump rings are actually from Pretty Mix Studio. They were sold in a shop some time ago, and now they're sold out. Can't find them. So hopefully she'll get some more in. I've been bothering her, harassing her about getting more in. Hey, Kiki, what's going on, girl? Hi, Sonia. Hootie hoo. Trying to de stress. Just go shopping, Sonia, and you'll feel so much better, girl. Okay. So let's add this big pink jump ring and the chain. Loop the chain in there. I 
I hope this is the right length. So guys, if you're just joining, I was showing how to make these embellishments and we were playing with the new glitters on Pretty Mix Studio. This is one of them. Right now she is having a sale. Most of the items on her shop, all the charms and all that stuff is $2.99. There's still like a lot of garden party stuff on there. There's still some Halloween stuff. All that stuff's on sale. The only thing that's not on sale are the new is the new kit that she just released. And the glitters are not on sale. But you guys can use my code Pucci10 on her entire site. Okay, so you can save 10% on everything in her shop. All right, now let's add this last little link to here and then attach it to the chain. I'm supposed to practice sewing on paper today. Girl, it's so easy. Take your time, go slow. Use your slowest setting. Don't be scared to like when you get the corners to stop, lift up your switch, your foot, yeah, your foot, right? Lift up your foot and turn your paper. And then clamp it back down and keep going. That's what I do. And just go slow until you feel comfortable. And I'm just going to make sure I close this all the way or else it's going to fall out on me. That's the worst, right? When you give somebody something that you made and it falls apart. I'm going to be like, Poochie made this ratchet ass banner for me. Whoop. There we go. So that is how I want this to look. I want it to hang down. It's kind of hard to tell when I hold it in my hand. Damn it. Yeah, I need to use that plastic. The plastic chain will look so much better. And you can even hang little things on here. I think it will be cool if instead of hanging charms on this, since it's paper, that you hang little, little die cuts. Like little tiny bats. Or if you hung sequins, do my sequins. Let me see if my black sequins have any holes on them. Let me see. Oh, we can hang some of these on there. Let me see. No, my bats don't have little holes on them. I could make them. Do I want to make them? Let's see, guys. Let's play with these. We got to make this work. Poochie a pro at sewing now. No way, girl. I am not a pro. Girl, I was so scared that I was going to sew my sausage fingers. I'm like, I need my sausage fingers. But honestly, I was scared for nothing because... You don't got to do shit with someone, guys. Like, all you got to do is guide the paper, make sure the foot's on there, make sure it's positioned right. If your stuff snaps, you got to load it back up. That's it. So easy to sew. I don't know. What was wrong with me? I was tripping. Okay, so we have these. I think it'd be cute to hang the sequins off of these. So let me grab my tiny little jump rings. Yes, girl. I'm going to use my crocodile. But my crocodile, the hole punch is too big. So I have a one from Tuesday morning that makes a tiny little hole. I'm going to show it to you guys. Whenever you guys see shit like that on Tuesday morning and you think you don't need it, you need it. Grab it. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to use you for, but I'm pretty sure you're going to come in handy one day. And it did come in handy. I'm going to try to use these tiny ones. Let's just put a bunch there in case. So you guys can embellish this how you want. A sentiment will look cute on there. Yes, take your time. Let me grab a drink of water, guys. Hold on. Okay. What was I going to do? Punch a hole in these. 
So this is what I got from Tuesday morning. I don't know what the measurement is for this. Does it say it on here? No, but it's extra, extra thin. Like, I don't know if you can see it. It makes a tiny hole and it's perfect. So let me try to do a hole on this bat. Let me see. Ooh, it's gonna work. I'm trying to make it centered. Whoa, what happened? It got stuck in there, dude. No. Where's the tweezers? It got stuck in here. Let me get it out. Get out of there. This can't be a fail. There it goes. Look at that hole. It made a hole. Hi, Josie. Okay. Let me move these glitters off the way. So I think this will be cute with like these dangling down. Like that. Let's do this one going on the opposite end. So guys, this is a way of taking a die and making it extra AF. Bye, Tiffany. I want to hang this, but I don't know if I want to make another hole on its head. I'm going to go for it. Take your time with this punching. Made it a third eye. All right, let's go ahead and hook these on. Damn, I wish I had some pink spider webs. That would be so bomb. All right, where's my jump rings? It feels so good to get a live done this early. Guys, pray that Ava doesn't give me a hard time every morning. So I can jump on live and get things done. Okay. So I'm going to hang this one about here. These little shaped sequins... You have to have them in your stash cards. They come in handy. Like they really do. Look at how cute that is. I love it. I do. That punch worked perfect though. I think it worked perfect. Okay, let me open this jump ring and then I can hang the other bat. Oh, I hear Ava getting up. Hey, Crafty Witch. This is so cute. About one, two, three, four. Make sure you close these all the way, guys. Don't leave not even a little crack. Hey, Bobby. Look at how cute. Let's hang the skull in the middle. So those plastic ones are going to make it so much less weight. It's going to be better to use the plastic ones, plastic chain. 
let's do this little tiny jump ring. Oh, I hung it by the eye. I'm going to try to put it in the center. Get your ass on there. Do you guys cuss at your crafts? Am I the only one that curses at my crafts? Get your ass in there. There we go. Where did you get the plastic chain? This is actually metal chain, Bobby. It's um from Michaels. It's like a really thin chain but you can get your plastic chain from pretty mix studio she has some pink, dark pink ones available right now i just ordered some more so look at that guys isn't that cute i'm gonna hang some spider webs and that's it i'm gonna hang some orange spider webs if i could find that bag where did i throw it Since this collection does have orange, I'll hang these orange spider webs. Yes, Bobby, this is some chaos craft. We're showing the glitters today, featuring the glitter from Pretty Mix Studio. Look how fire. All right, guys, so this is a great way for us to use our stash. Use what you have in your stash. Let me see. <gasps> What happened to my... See, this is what happens when you don't close it all the way. If you leave a tiny little crack, your sequence is going to come out. I'm going to be like, Poochie gave me this ratchet-ass embellishment. And all the stuff fell off. Let me do a really tight... The smallest little crack, guys, it'll slip out. There we go. Oh, this jump ring sucks. I wonder where the hell I got this jump ring from. Okay. Okay, let's see. Where do I want to hang these? I kind of want to hang it. Like from the side, maybe going this way. Yeah, I'll do it like that. But honestly, I would rather move these over a little bit and hang them like that. But you guys do you and do it how you want to do it. Hi, Madi. See, I have wanted time counting the chain loops so that I could choose the exact center. I know, girl, ask me too, but I, sometimes you ain't got time for that. This is why I push is the MVP and it takes me three hours. <laughs> no, girl, you got to get it right. I understand. If I wasn't on live, I probably would be counting them all. But sometimes you just got to eyeball it because ain't nobody got time for that. To be counting 50 links, girl. Ain't nobody got time. So you can punch a hole on this in the middle. I'm going to leave them on the side like that, I think. Or do I want to punch a hole? Let's see. See, you guys got me second-guessing myself, damn it. I definitely got to move these over a little bit. I think I like them hanging like that. We're making this little cauldron embellishment, Monty. It's a KS Craft Eye. We use Pretty Mix Sequence uh, Studios. Pretty Mix Studios uh, glitter. I added this little tag. And we added a chain. And now we're hanging. We're dangling some little sequins on the bottom of the chain. So this is not done. You still got to embellish this part. I think just the cinnamon, the cute little thing will look cute. But we're not going to do that today because I don't know where the hell my shit is as usual. Let 
All right, I'm just gonna punch a hole and I'm punching a hole in my sequins, guys. Okay. All right. I gotta put my tools away or else I'll lose them. Okay, so let's get some jump rings. Where's my other one? Thank you, Mama. After this video, I'm going to leave all the stuff that I use from Pretty Mix Studio in this, in the description box. I'll add the chain that she has available as well. But guys, go snatch her sale. $2.99 on everything except for the glitters and the kit that she has available. And you can use my Kopuchi 10 to punch the hole with. I'm using, Mari, I have this like hole puncher that I got from Tuesday morning. It's really small. I don't know what the, what the measurement is, but it makes a really small hole. I think it's important for us to have all different kinds of hole punchers because you just never know. All right, let me set this and we're done. Oh, if I had some pink bats, that would have been so cute. I probably do got some pink bats from Natalie's uh sequel mix last year oh my god how cute is that guys look at that so cute so guys don't be afraid to think outside the box when it comes to your die cuts and your embellishments we got a lot of stuff going on with this, but I think it looks so pretty. What do you guys think about this embellishment? Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at guys. Let me lay it down so you can see it. I'm gonna get it all to lay down the right way. If you give this to someone, they're going to be like, damn, look at all the details. It's all about the details. Damn it. There we go. I don't like that jump ring. It's bothering me. But anyways, you guys get the idea, right? You got this chain hanging with some sequins. You got your cauldron. Hey, Louisa. And then you guys can just add like a little sentiment in the middle. You could do whatever you want. Like this would be cute with a little sentiment. It might be too much, but you guys get the point, right? So use your vellum guys to make your little cauldron shakers. Okay. These are the glitters. This is the dark pink and the, that's this one here. I'm pretty mixed studio. We have this one. That is Angel Wings. We have this pink one. That is this one here. This glitter here. We have Raven's Tongue. That's that one. It's got like all this holographic. It's black and holographic. And then we have the cat's fur. Where the hell did it go? Right here. We have cat's fur. Black cat fur. And it is like a... It looks like fur, guys. Very cute. All right? So, guys, grab your glitters at Pretty Mix Studio. I hope that you guys found some inspiration from this tutorial. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in my next video, okay? Let me know what you guys think about this project. I think it came out so pretty. All right, and we're using a lot of our stash. I could have even put some, what do you call it? Let me see. Guys, I just found this at Ross. Oh, my God, what a great find this was. If you guys find some of this at Ross, hit your girl up. I will buy some. It's $3.99 in the 
what do you call it? The crafty section where they sell like the gift bags and the tissue papers and all that. It was only $3.99, guys. Oh my gosh, so bomb. So you can grab something like this. You can snip a little bit off. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I have to find some more. Hi, Anastasia. What? Inez, tell me if you find some more, girl. And you could just stick this on there for some, um, what do you call it? I can't think right now. For some um, texture. And then you could layer on top of that. It'll give so much dimension to your projects. And then all you guys do is stick a cinnamon on there. Let me see. The cinnamon is not the right color. And it's too big. But you guys get the, the point. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right. So that's it for this video, guys. I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining me.